Hey guys, hello and welcome back to a brand new series on my YouTube channel, the Minecraft Forge modding tutorials. So, in this series, I will show you how to create your very own mod for Minecraft. And in this video, we will be doing the basic setup and the main mod file. So, everything you need is an archive program like 7zip or Winra. By the way, the links are all in the description. And you need, of course, Java. And then you will need Minecraft, of course, and a Java editor, which is Eclipse. You can see the download page right here. And the Forge resources. So, uh, we are going to download the Eclipse. So, click on download and you'll see this one. And just click on Windows 64-bit uh, and this site will appear. So, if you have a 32-bit uh, computer, uh, click on 32-bit, of course. So click on this link and it will download Eclipse for us. So, and while this is downloading, we will be going to download the Minecraft Forge resources. So, uh, this tutorial is on 1.7.10 at the moment uh, because the 1.8 files seem to be not working. So, um, yeah, go on this page and go on SRZ. And click on this and this page will appear. Ad focus is a revolutionary new way of making yes, money on the internet focus, from sharing yes, links on I Facebook, yeah, Twitter yeah, or YouTube. Yeah. So wait Simply this sign up below, share links skip, and earn money. And it will download the Forge resources for you. So, um, yeah, we'll see us again when the Eclipse download has finished and see you then. So, all the files have finished downloading now and what we're going to do now is open both files using 7-zip or WinRA and we can close our browser now and yeah just drag and drop the eclipse folder and paste it in a folder i don't recommend to put, to make it in c slash programs uh, i created a folder on an x on another partition and yeah so wait until it's finished with copying and yeah uh, so while this is copying, we can't do anything in the folder. I don't like this. So now it's finished, and now we'll be going to create a new folder and name this. Uh, yeah, just name it Eclipse Workspace, or as I do, Tutorial Mod Workspace. So this is the workspace where every mod we will going to code will be in. So now take your Forge files. Mark them all and drag them in here. So now you can close all the 7-zip files and now uh, press shift on your keyboard and right click in this folder. Now press on um, open command prom prompt here and you'll see this window up here. So what you're gonna type here is Gradle. So this is the system that set up all the Forge stuff and set up decomp Workspa workspace Now press enter and this will gonna take some minutes So we'll see us once it finished. So it's finished processing these Things now and now you're gonna type gradle Don't forget the G gradle and eclipse so this does uh, that Eclipse knows, oh, I can work with all these packages and stuff and yeah, that you just can work with them. So it will take a bit of time. And so it's finished now and you can close this window now so you can type just exit or just click this red cross, but I'm too, yeah, I want to type exit because I'm, because I can. So, and now uh, you're gonna go into your Eclipse folder and press on Eclipse.exe and it will show this window and it will say uh, you that you have to select your workspace now and our workspace will be this folder. So as you can see workspace launcher and now you will click on browse and it's in D in my case. So go on D and now it's in forge modding tutorial mod workspace and now select the Eclipse folder and press OK. So what it will do now, it will look into this folder and search for all archives uh, that are saved in these files. So 
Eclipse is open and as you can see it has the Minecraft folder here. So right now we can start coding our own mods. So first we will gonna delete this example mod files and now uh, in the src slash main slash java folder we will create a new package so right click and new package and this will be mostly your name so it's uh, mysterious and then you can do dot mods dot and then the mod name so I will say tutorial mod so um, to say one thing in Java the packages are separated by dots and not by slashes as in Windows so and what we are going to do in here now is right click and create a new class and a class is such uh, is something like yeah uh, just a document but this document can be executed so class and this will be our main mod class so just type tutorial mod and finish and as you can see it creates this nice class so let's start coding our very own Forge Mod. So one thing before we start, uh, you should have some Java knowledge. So you can understand these tutorials without any uh, Java knowledge. But I recommend you that you program something with Java before. So let's start. First thing we're gonna do is write a new annot annotation and this is at mod. And now we will have to have uh, give some parameters. So mod ID. This is the ID of the mod. Equals. And now we will make some new variables. And these are two public static final strings. Public. So it's public available. Static. It ca uh, and final. String. And the mod ID. Make this bold or what you uh, what you want uh, uppercase I mean and then just type tutorial mod so this is the mod ID forge will handle and another so you can copy this paste it below and this is the version so the version isn't tutorial mod of course it is let's say 1.0 and now you can uh, say mod ID equals tutorial mod. So our class tutorial mod dot. And as you can see, it says mod ID. And select this, then comma. And version equals tutorial mod. Press uh, control and space to open this window tutorial mod dot version of course so and this annotation belongs above the uh, public class tutorial mod so import mod and you can see there are now no errors anymore so next thing we're gonna do is we will have to co uh, code three new methods message and these are event handlers so type at event handler and what this means is um, an annotation is called when the main annotation so the parent annotation is called so um, it tells Java the method underneath this annotation is an event handler so um, write public void and now pre in it. So this mes uh, method will be called uh, before the game starts. And in brackets type FML pre initialization event. Initialization event. And name event of course. So now you can type control shift O to import everything so as you can see it had imported cpw.mods.fml.common.event.fml pre initialization event so you can now copy this uh, method and 
Copy it two times and replace this pre init by init and this fml pre with fml. And then down below, replace the pre with post and the pre behind this also with post. See, uh, control shift O and everything is important, uh, imported. So that's the main mod file and what we are going to code now is the proxies. So the proxies are called um, when, so when rendering and stuff should be registered. So make a new class and call it client proxy. So this is all the stuff that is only on your computer, not on the server. So for example, rendering is only on your computer because another player and also another entity is only rendered on your computer. The server doesn't have to render anything. So client proxy and another class and call this common proxy. So this is everything the server has to do. So for example, um, if you want to have one player out of a list of players from the server, the common proxy will, the, will be the right class to do this. So now let's extend the client proxy on the common proxy because uh, if the because the common proxy will be called at first extends common proxy extends common proxy. So uh, you can close these files. We we'll don't need them at the moment. And now we're gonna write a new annotation right here. At sided proxy and it's sided because there is a client side your computer and a server side the server so in bracket type client side equals and now in this um, you type the package so it's a mysterious it's a mysterious dot mods dot tutorial mod and be sure um, to make the uh, names right so java is extremely careful with uh, with names tutorial mod and now dot client proxy so this is the client proxy and do the same separated by a comma for the server side. So copy this. Oh, I recognize something. We have to make the C and the S large. So server side. And this is of course not the client proxy to the, uh, the server side, but it is the common proxy. So um, the only thing we have to do now is Control Shift and O. Oh, it was right. So change to client side and change to server side. So uh, the first letters have to be small. Sorry for this. And now one last thing we have to do is public static common proxy. Common proxy. So our common proxy. And proxy. So this is a new instance of our proxy. So when you want to access the the real proxy of the mod when it's in game, you will access this. So that's it for the basic setup and now press control F11 to test whether it works or not. And it looks quite well. So it should start Minecraft now and if it doesn't, I'm angry. But it should work. Oh, it isn't. Why doesn't it work? I don't know. Where is the, oh, the proxy injector. So, uh, we made some mistakes up here. So, we did some names wrong. Uh, so, right click on the, on the pack, on the class you want to import and 
click on copy qualified name. So this is the client proxy. And now paste it in here. Delete the first until your name. And now replace the slashes with a dot. And it should work now. And the dot java, we don't need the dot java. Copy qualified name. And paste it in here. So, sorry for this. I really am sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm so, so sorry. And replace the slashes. Slashes. Replace the slashes. Really clear. So, and it should work right now. Or do I have to put it here? I don't think so. No. It has to be below. So, now let's try whether it works. Oh, I clicked on debug mode. So, just click on accept. So, I've forgotten a really, really, really important thing. So, uh, put this line underneath your public static final string stuff. And you need a name for the mod. I, I don't know why I forgot the name. So, write name equals and then the name of your mod. And it's totally clear that it won't work. Oh my god, I don't know why I forgot the name. So... Now you can click on debug or launch and it will launch Minecraft with our mod. So, sorry for this <laughs> little difficulty. And as you can see, Minecraft is starting and it launched with our mod. As you can see, four mods loaded. If we click on mods, you will see Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader and Minecraft Forge. And our tutorial mod with the name tutorial mod in version 1.0 so again sorry for the little startup problems and yeah i hope you liked the video if you do so leave a like on this video and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel already then please subscribe so next video will come up next monday and see you then